Okay, so what information do they need to give me? Well, let's first see, uh, just remind ourselves of the two formats that can be used to express a quadratic function with. Okay, that is the one, and the other format was fx is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, now we can see if th um, that the number of parameters that we have, that's the unknown constants at this point, is one, two, three parameters. There are three parameters in this one, and there's also three parameters in that one. Okay, which kind of means they need to give me three pieces of information for me to solve this. But what is the most significant thing that they can give me? Well, if they give me the turning point, uh, another word for the turning point is the vertex. If they give me the turning point, then I know I already have P and Q. Because the turning point's coordinate is P, Q. That P and Q represents the turning point. Okay, so if they give me the turning point, then I'll only have A left to solve. And remember this, don't forget it, when I have one variable or one parameter left to solve, I can solve it by substituting any point. So they can then add to uh, give me any other point. And then I'll be able to use this formula to find the equation of the parabola.